John Larson here for Green Days Group. Welcome to this next video in our Trello series. Again, what we're doing is we're exploring basically the the use of Trello as a project management system and how one can leverage it to squeeze every last ounce of productivity possible uh, out of a given day without having to spend a huge amount of money on project management systems or personal tracking systems in order to accomplish that goal and you know there are some excellent platforms out there but they're complicated they have very limited constructs they're closed so they they don't really play well with other platforms and they can be quite costly uh, upwards of a uh, hundred dollars a month per user depending upon uh, what you're looking at so for us at Green Days you know, our goal was to come up with something that would be flexible, that would be easy to use, uh, that our employees would actually like using, uh, that would tie together with a lot of different systems, uh, that would be really kind of easy to keep track of. Uh, and so that's why we headed in the Trello direction. Now, right now, personally, I've just been working through how do I use this as a tool in order to best keep track of what I'm working on. And you might recall from the last video we talked about a few different uh, sort of core principles. In other words, uh, Trello is made up of boards, which we talked about, and then lists, and then you can have cards on those lists. So it's really uh, pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up actually my task list and I don't mind you seeing this, it's okay, uh, the world won't end. Um, but basically this is a board that I've constructed and the purpose of this video series is basically to introduce you to what you know I'm doing and then uh, hopefully inspire you and you can copy this or you can do your own thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time here to show you what I'm working on uh, personally and then from here uh, I'll actually show you how to construct this layout and that'll be uh, in future videos uh, but basically right now I just want to show you exactly what I'm doing personally. So uh, you'll see here that I begin uh, my lists with my focuses. Now, uh, if you are familiar with Work the System by Sam Carpenter, uh, part of that is to really do some soul searching and some evaluating uh, in terms of you know, sort of what do you want to get uh, out of success and if you had more t free time what would you do with it if you had more money what would you do with it so uh, I've run through those exercises and created long-term medium-term and short-term goals so long-term you know this is sort of the outer space view I mean this is like uh, you know years down the road uh, where do I want to be uh, medium term is is a little more uh, short in uh, short term I would say is within the next say year that's for me again you could define this however you want it uh, but you'll see that I have a number of different cards in these lists and why do I have them first well the whole point is that when I sit down at the beginning of my day and at the end of my day I actually walk through all of these uh, these are things that are important to me and so I want to look through them and basically um, be inspired by them and remind myself why I'm doing what I'm doing today in order to lay that groundwork uh, for building that success in the future so that's important to me so again long-term medium-term short-term goals those all sit right here. Now when I scroll over, and I'm just scrolling on my mouse to do this, but uh, you'll see that I have today's targets, so these are things that I'm working on today. Uh, you'll see I have an idea inbox, so basically whenever I have something that comes to me, it's like, ooh, I want to do that, or you know, I'm, I'm interacting in email and somebody says something and, oh, I need to, I need to take action on that, or uh, if it's a case where uh, maybe I, I've been involved in a webinar and somebody presents something, and it's like, like, ooh, I need to investigate that. All of those things go into my idea inbox, okay? And if it's a do it now reality, if it's a case where it's something that just I need to tackle it right away, I will immediately assign it over to today's targets. That's, you know, primary. Uh, but it may be a case where I need to sit with it a little bit because it's not a do it now kind of a thing. Uh, and I need to determine is it something that is urgent enough that I want to work on it this week 
or next week or is it something that is just for my future self? In other words, it's not such a critical thing right now. It's something that is interesting. It's something that I want to pursue, but it's just not quite important enough to have it consume my energy right now. So I leave that to my future self. And so I have a whole list of things here, uh, a whole list of cards that are related to uh, things that I am thinking about that I may want to do at some point in time in the future. Uh, and so uh, the whole idea here is to be able to move these cards in and out of these spaces uh, as they're being worked on. Now you'll note that my today's targets is kind of empty uh, and, and that's because uh, I've done most everything for uh, today that I needed to do. Uh, but you'll see I have some things in my idea inbox and so you know I have to make a decision uh, whether or not I'm going to keep working and, and do some more of those things or if I'm going to push them out uh, later on down the road. Now to kind of uh, continue along this we've we've talked about a lot of these items uh, so we we sort of left off at future self you'll see I have one area called waiting on others so these are things that uh, basically they're important to me but where they've been tasked to somebody else and so this is just a reminder for me to keep tabs on that project uh, so that I can follow up on it and just make sure it's being handled uh, and then there are two more sort of lists that I have. Uh, one is the items that have been completed today and then I have another one which is the items that have been completed this week. So uh, why do I break it up this way? Well because at the end of the day uh, just as a way of sort of patting myself on the back I like to really look at how I've consumed time in my day and if I've been a good manager of my resources. So this is a, a way of just a final accountability. Did I have a good day? Could I have done a better job? Completed this week. It's a once a week kind of ritual but again the whole notion is a reminder that I am marching towards these goals and I am taking the necessary actions in order to be able to get to where I want to get to. So if I look at this completed this week list and I really think about it in light of my goals, I have to ask myself, do these things that I've completed align with my goals? The answer should be yes, of course. Uh, and if the answer is no, then one has to think about how one is prioritizing and spending one's time. So that's why I have this construct. So again, I have this whole notion of basically my major focus, which consumes the first three columns, my targets for the day, the things I'm actually going to get done today, a placeholder where I have to make a decision. Is it do it now? Is it do it later? If it's do it later, is it this week, next week, or some point in time in the future? Do I have anything where I'm actually just sort of pending, waiting on somebody else before I can dive back into it again? And then what have I actually gotten done today? Now, Trello has some really nice ways of being able to manage these items. So, for example, when we look at, let's say, this completed today column, Okay, I could one by one drag all of these over to completed this week, but instead I can just click here and I can say move all cards in this list and I can pick which list I want to move them to. So I'm just going to move them all to completed this week. So I've already evaluated them and now I've moved them over and it's just as easy as that. Fantastic, I'm done. If I wanted to uh, take a look at the uh, tasks for this week and say to myself, what do I have going on tomorrow? So we can see here I've got a few items that have uh, basically dates assigned and because they're due tomorrow, they're yellow. Uh, if they get past due, they go red. And so yeah, these are things that I need to work on for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them over here now uh, so that when I come in tomorrow, I will have uh, these items ready to go. Uh, and you'll see, for me, I kind of mix personal and work. I mean, it's all together um, to a certain degree, as long as, again, it's keeping me on track to my 
uh, overall goal. So how you choose to manage this for yourself may be different, uh, but again, you know, I'm trying to squeeze the most out of what I can get in a day, and frankly, I have personal things that come in during my day that I need to attend to. So uh, I want to be sure that uh, all of it is included there. And to that end, uh, there's a very nifty kind of a way that I keep track of this. Uh, again, you could do something different. But uh, how Trello works is that you can color code your um, your your various cards in the lists. So, you know, for example, if we look here and uh, we see uh, this uh, Google Snack Pack actions. So, uh, these are some things uh, relating to uh, Google's recent update for the Snack Pack and you'll see that it's coded green and I happen to know that that means it's work. So you'll see here I've set this up and you can set this up on a board by board basis whatever you want it to be. So I've got everything color coded work, money, family, health, travel, home, personal growth. And so at a glance I can tell okay yeah I've got some work related things, I've got some personal growth related things, I've got a lot of money related things. So this is how I kind of visually keep track of you know where I'm spending my time and how I have things being divided. Now there are some things that are just recurring and so what I've done is I've set up uh, basically a master recurring daily task and uh, every single day I copy that over to today's targets so I can go here and I can actually copy what I'm doing and that contains within it sort of a uh, checklist of all kinds of different things that are important to me that you know I just want to bang out in a day. They don't warrant their own separate tasks. They're just things that I need to knock out in the day, but I want to hold myself accountable to get those things done. So that's the construct in a nutshell. And then when it's all said and done, when I'm all done with this week, I will clear these cards and you can do an archive so you can just basically take all the cards and archive them and then they'll be stored but they won't be front and center. So they're they're there, they're stored, uh, but they're not anything that, you know, you have to look at right now, so to speak. You can go back and look at them, you know, six months down the road just to see how you're doing. Uh, but that's basically the idea that I'm using for time management uh, in a nutshell. So in the next video, I'll show you how to set this up.